Refreshing Stories. My name is Hiroshi. I'm just your average salary man. I just got married to my dreamy, beautiful wife, Yurika, recently. At the same time as getting married, I also bought a new car, and I'm on cloud nine. Hiroshi, what are you grinning about? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I was just thinking about how beautiful you are, that's all. Oh, Hiroshi, we're going to be together forever because you're the first and only man I'll ever be with. And you're my first and only lady, Yurika. Our perfect newlywed life was off to a great start. Hey, Hiroshi, there's something I want to discuss with you. Would it be okay if I quit my current job? What's wrong? Did something happen at work? No, it's not like that. I was just thinking I want to focus on things around the house. Plus, I want to cook a lot of homemade meals for you. Well, that sounds amazing. All right, I'll work hard for the both of us. Thank you. You can leave everything around the house from now on. You don't have to do anything at all. That's not okay. I'll still do whatever I can to help. You really don't need to worry about it. You're always so nice. And so, for my beloved wife, Yurika, I started working twice as hard at my job. Because of that, my overtime increased, and I was coming home late more frequently. I'm home. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Oh, welcome back. I'm so sorry I'm back late. You must have been lonely. She was already asleep? It's only 9 p.m. Maybe she got tired of waiting? No, no, don't worry. I know that you're working hard for me too. If anything, I don't mind if you were to work more overtime and stay later. Uh, are you sure? I feel bad. I'm so lucky to have such an understanding wife. Oh, but I'm the lucky one. Alrighty then, good night. <sighs> oh, okay. Good night. She seems pretty tired. Am I making her work too hard around the house? After that, Yurika was often already asleep when I would come home, and I noticed that she wasn't keeping up with many chores around the house. I didn't want to add more stress onto her, so I started eating out before coming home. I'm home! Whoa, there's so much trash piled up! Hey, Yurika! Yurika, wake up! Your husband is home! I love you. Uh, Hiroshi? Aw, oh, sheesh, what am I supposed to do? What's wrong? You seem really tired these days. I'm sorry, I got too tired from all the exercise. Are you on a diet? Even though you really don't need to, I don't know how to say this, but... Recently, it seems like you haven't been able to get around to many of the chores. If it's too much, then let's divide it between us, like I said from the beginning. Don't worry, I promise I'll do them properly from now on. Thanks, Hiroshi. You sure? I mean, if you say so, but... However, nothing changed. In fact, she stopped doing anything at all, from cooking to cleaning, and not even lifting a finger towards the house. <sighs> what a good sleep. I'm hungry. Whoa, what? There's nothing in the refrigerator. Hey, Yurika, wake up, please. Hmm? The fridge is completely empty. When was the last time you went grocery shopping? Yesterday? If you went yesterday, then surely there would be something in there. There's seriously not one thing inside. I'm running out of time. I'm going to go to work. I'm starving. It's making me dizzy. If this was going to happen, I should have bought breakfast yesterday. I wonder what she eats during the day. While I was waiting at the stoplight for the light to change, suddenly, a car came crashing into me from behind. It was quite an impact, but luckily, I wasn't heavily injured. Come on, give me a break. It's dangerous to stay here. So let me just move my car to the side. Wait, what? Hey, wait, wait, wait! To my disbelief, the person who drove right into me hit the ground running and disappeared. It was a hit and run. Ah, uh, they're gone. But wait a second. Did I just see Yurika in that car? No. Surely there's no way. Wait, what? My bumper's completely shattered! My brand new car was destroyed, and with tears in my eyes, I made a call to the police. A few minutes later, and so this happened and that happened, and I'm the victim of a hit and run. I see. This is a property damage accident with no casualties. 
and the other party is absent. All right. Well then, the accident report is finished now. What? You're not going to help me look for the culprit? Even though my car was destroyed this badly? And my heart's also destroyed? Ah, uh, I guess we'll look for them. But it's not like we can put all hands on deck for this. If only it was all recorded into a drive recorder. Then perhaps it would be a different story. A drive recorder? I don't have one. It's a brand new car that I just bought. Please help me! I'd love to do something about it for you, but... Sorry. It was obvious that I was the victim of a hit and run, but there were no witnesses around, and no concrete evidence either. So I was left with only my tears and a battered car. I looked it up on the internet later. And as it turns out, unless there were casualties or major injuries involved, then it seems that the police wouldn't do much about it. I was driving my precious car so carefully. If this was the result, then I should have at least gotten whiplash or something. But I guess I should just be grateful that I'm okay. I was in no state to go to work. But that day, we had an extremely important meeting. So I went to the office and decided to leave right at 5 p.m. I'm home. Huh? Eureka? She's not home. What is this? Huh? Divorce papers? I came home to divorce papers and Eureka's wedding ring on the table and no sight of her. Please don't come looking for me. I don't need any settlement money, Eureka. Is this a joke? Eureka, why did you leave me and run away? Is it because I said too much about the chores? I can't just let this be! In order to find my beloved wife, Eureka, I decided to enlist the help of my best friend, Bunta. You sure you're not mistaking me for some kind of detective? Come on, don't be like that! Please, I'm begging you! I get where you're coming from, but in times like this, even if you go looking for her and find her, divorce is still the only path. Right now, you should just take it and wait, like a man. You're right. I guess I'll be patient. That being said, you'll go crazy if you're just sitting around. So why don't we go look for the jerk from the hit and run together? Might change your mood. And maybe there's a chance that she might reappear during that time too. Thanks. Uh, just thinking about it makes my blood boil all over again. I'm going to make that guy pay for what he did to my car. Glad to see you already have a change of spirit. So, could you see that person's face in the driver quarter? No, about that. I didn't have one installed. Excuse me? It's a brand new car. You should have installed it at the same time you bought it. It was expensive to buy it at the car dealer, so I was thinking about getting one from the car shop later. I get that it's good to try to save money where you can, but what's the point if you get hit in the meantime? I know. It's exactly as you say, sir. Well, nothing we can do about the past. Is there anything you can think of to help? I do remember that it was a red sports car. What else? There was a woman that looked like Eureka in it. What? Was she cheating on you? No, no, no. Plus, it seems like Eureka had been sleeping all morning recently. Hmm. In that case, looks like she's in the clear. Anyways, there anything else you can remember? Hmm. Just that the bumper of my brand new car was completely destroyed. That's about it. Yeah, that's a shame. What a sad state of affairs. Oh, that's it! That! Huh? What do you mean? If the back of your car is shattered, then that must mean that their car should be dented in the front. And there should be yellow paint on it too, right? That's true. But how are we supposed to find them? Well, we just gotta give it all! <laughs> Yikes! That's not a real plan. And so, two weeks after my beloved wife ran away, I spent every single day looking for the car that crashed into my beloved car. My results were rewarded when miraculously, I found a house with a car parked outside that very much fit the bill. I can't believe you found it. That's some amazing dedication. It was a brand new car that I had just bought. Of course I was desperate. Yeah, that's understandable. Hmm, it's true that the location of the damages on both of your cars line up, but... They do, right? There's no doubt that the owner of this car is the person who did the hit and run. What do you want? What are you doing outside of a stranger's house? Wait, what? I knew it was your car! Mr. Policeman, this is the guy. Please take a look at the driver recorder footage from this car. Hey, you can't just do that! Pardon me, but would you mind helping us out? I'm sure if we take a look at it, we can clarify any misunderstanding. Actually, I erased the footage from the accident, so it should be fine. Sure, take a look. Look as long as you want. He handed over the driver recorder, and the policeman and I looked at the footage. However, 
this incident was about to take an unexpected turn. Well then, I'm going to press play. We haven't been on a road trip together in a while. That's true. Lately, all our dates have been inside the house. Well, even though we're heading towards my house right now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> See? Are you telling me it's a crime to be on a date with my girlfriend? How was it not recorded? But I feel like that was a very familiar voice. Would it be possible to see the footage from inside the car? Hmm, let's see. Looks like we can. Do you mind if we play this footage as well? Sure, whatever you'd like. Feel free. <laughs> Masao, why are you so hot? Maybe it's because my voice is so high-pitched? <laughs> Eureka, you're also so dreamy and beautiful. I'm going to break up with Hiroshi, so will you make me your wife? Of course I will. Yay! Maso, I love you. I'm going to make it so I fell out of love with Hiroshi and I ran away, so... Let me stay at your house from today, okay? Woo! I'm getting hot just thinking about it! Looks like the accident isn't recorded in this footage from inside the car either. What a shame after we came all this way. No, I found something I've been looking for for a long time. So it's fine. What? Is that so? Instead of the footage of the accident, what I saw on the drive recorder was the person on the top of my most wanted list. Eureka! The moment of the accident was no longer there, but the moment of her affair was there, as clear as day. Hey, hey, what's with all the commotion out here? What perfect timing, Miss Eureka! What? Hiroshi! What are you doing here? Huh? Does that mean that we crashed into your husband? That's right. And what was that? Did you just admit to crashing my car? Shoot! Wait, no! I had no intention of running away, you know! But Eureka told me to run it! Hey, can you not make this my fault? Regardless, you're the one that crashed into him! I had every intention of taking responsibility and handling it the right way! Sincerely! There isn't an ounce of sincerity here. Yeah, that's right! That includes you! And that must mean that the reason why you were so sleepy all the time is because you were cheating on me! You've got some nerve! No, that's not it! Um, I was just sleepy because the season was changing! Sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. What makes you think an excuse is going to fly? <laughs> this isn't funny! And speaking of which, that letter! You said you don't need a settlement fee, but in what world would you have any right? Because a settlement fee is something that a man pays, right? It's something that the person who cheated pays! What? No way! Wait! That's impossible! I can't! If you can't pay it, then get to work! Anyway, I'll be collecting a settlement from the both of you! What? I have to pay too? Obviously! And I'll have you pay for the cost of repairs to my car too! How can this be? After that, a neighbor who heard all of the commotion from the parking lot had apparently witnessed the car accident when she was out grocery shopping, and she handed us the drive recorder footage from her car. As a result, Masao was arrested and charged. As for Eureka, after the divorce was finalized, I heard that she's been working day and night at her previous part-time job to make ends meet. No matter how many payments I make, I can't pay off the divorce settlement! Hiroshi, please! Give me another chance! As for me, I ended up letting go of my car and moved into a new house. I wanted to start fresh, with a clean slate, and I'm loving my life living alone. Please, don't come looking for me now. <laughs> Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!